one of my tools um, for peace for your mind is observing your thoughts. So this is just observing when your thoughts are saying things like, I need to go to school to get a degree to then succeed. Notice that instead of grab onto it, observing it. Um, when I was prepping for this and receiving um, guidance um, in my channel, my flow, I was shown this analogy of your thoughts are driving until we notice and then take over the wheel. So I was shown the thoughts driving, you in your passenger seat looking out the window and seeing those thoughts of you have to go to school and succeed or you have to do this, you're supposed to get married or whatever, you're not good enough or worthy enough. You're looking at these things going out the window, these thoughts, and you're agreeing with them because that's what you're seeing. But until you step back and observe and maybe turn, look out the actual front window, you can then say, oh, there's actually this way over here. There's this path that I can go on instead. I don't have to choose that. I can also take the fuck over the wheel and let's go. <laughs> um, I am really, uh, I just realized I swore, I swore <laughs> on live. That's all good though. This is who I am, so I'm not gonna apologize for it. I always show up as my truth and I am pretty blunt with my language because it's just language. <laughs> so, Shifting and observing what thoughts are coming up. That is how you develop that peace for your mind. Um, and then my other tool for peace for your mind is gentle, compassionate, unconditional love AF. As fuck. So gentleness, uncompassionate, or compassionate, unconditional love to the ultimate for yourself. <laughs> Um, thanks, Jessica. <laughs> um, so bringing that unconditional love to yourself as fuck, the most you can ever be, that is how you bring that peace for your mind. Um, so for example, if let's say you're running late, and you're running late because you slept in from your alarm, because who the F knows? Maybe your spirit was like, bitch needs some more sleep, so we're going to let you sleep because it's really okay that you're going to be late. Because in spirit, your spirit's like, because there's actually going to be this crazy accident that you need to avoid, and so if you sleep in, blah. So there's all these other excess plannings happening above. Zoom back to, you slept in past your alarm. If you grab hold of the thoughts that are telling you, why am I so stupid? Why am I so dumb for not uh, waking up? Why would I put myself through that? I'm nothing, I'm worthless, they're not going to appreciate me, blah, 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 blah. So many things. If you hold onto those and grab a hold of those, they then are going to become true for you. So, in those moments, for instance, of running late, take a step back and observe the thoughts that are coming up, and then instead bring in some joyful thoughts, some gratitude thoughts. Because you're late regardless, and if you feed yourself the higher frequency thoughts of love, of compassion, of um, gentleness, then your energy is going to be more magnetic and to a frequency that is going to bring more joy and more magnetic, loving energy. So being mindful of those thoughts, that is what's going to bring that peace for your mind. Choosing thoughts that are in a higher frequency of what you are looking for, what you desire, what you deserve. Right? Love that, Jessica. Okay, so that's peace for your mind. And that's the first space that you gotta get to. And that's one of the hardest ones, and it's one that will continuously come back. I'll find myself coming back to these things at different growth periods.